this crisis was just a mortgage crisis, right? I mean, if someone, you lost your job, you can see it quite narrowly. It's about mortgages. People lost money in houses. We need to fix that. At another level, it's more than just a mortgage crisis because the entire banking system was impacted. So in that sense, how do we change the banking system? Third is, well, it's not just about mortgage or banking, but this is a natural step in capitalism. So capitalism always goes too far in one direction like a pendulum. When that happens, we have to allow creative destruction to occur. Now this leads to who are the most efficient. So in that sense, this was essentially about the green paradigm starting to emerge. So the image of the future greener, more global, perhaps even more spiritual, was ahead of reality. And now the companies that weren't green, that weren't efficient, they were being punished. And if we go even broader, this was more about not just a mortgage crisis, a banking crisis, or a crisis in creative destruction, or I mean a crisis of organizations being too fat, but it's a normal geopolitical shift. So the rise of China, India, or Chindia. My sense is all of these are at some level true. The stories can tell me, they can illuminate one was the possible future, but they can also help interact and find leverage points of transformation. So how is it that I organize my mind? Do I have a Western Freudian view where there's ego, superego, id? Do I have a Maslow worldview where there's many levels of self-actualization? Or is it more kind of the Indian worldview where there's many layers of mind, each one becoming broader, broader, almost leading to a universal mind? So as you're engaged in mapping the future, your own subjectivity, your process of understanding, your inner stories keeps on changing the map. Depending on what our preferred future is, how do we then design for it? If I can understand what is the core inner story, then we can start to link that to objective alternative futures. Let's see this really very much in the notion of that the end of the industrial era, this is one of those crises that keeps on pointing to the era we've had for a few hundred years is no longer working. We need to help create this new grand transition.